Yikes. So much for that time limit. We weren't even close. Well, both squads have some, uh, unique individuals. Maybe we should have expected this. This isn't good. How do we fix it? You see me out there? Hot stuff, right? I look downright heroic, facing down an enemy army. <laughs> you think you're a hero? That's real funny, dark hair. You just charged in like an idiot. Oh, I'm not taking this crap from you. You call yourself a shock trooper? You got stuck waddling in the back. You got too much junk in that trunk? Maybe that's what's slowing you down. What did you say? You trying to say I'm fat? Hey, just saying. Maybe you could have gotten to the front faster if you weren't carrying all that weight. God damn it, Raz. Who do you think was covering you when you were charging in? Do you even care? Whoa, but that's how we always do this, right? That's our usual. This isn't our usual. It's a joint exercise, remember? We need to be better coordinated with Squad 7. Ugh, whatever. Get someone else to babysit the dead weight. If they're too scared to advance, then we're screwed. Huh, so we should charge in like you? You'd get us all killed, idiot. I'd rather be dead weight than plain dead. Rosie? That's enough. We're supposed to be allies here, right? Um, would anyone like some tea? It's not much, but we've got a snack if anyone wants it. Th that smells like... bread! Uh, yeah. I just finished baking. I was hoping we could all share it. I was wondering why you got up so early. You're pretty serious about baking, huh? Aw, oh, getting up early to bake bread. Must be nice in the militia with so much free time. You really are an idiot. Just look at this bread. And if you can't tell by looking, take a bite. Do you know how hard it is to bake on the battlefield with barely any equipment? And it's so good. <sighs> wow, Alicia. You really put your heart into this. <laughs> well, I checked all the ingredients myself, so believe me. There's plenty of heart. Here, go ahead. Thanks. Come on, everyone. Alicia made this specially for us. <sighs> Just smell that wheat and butter in perfect harmony. <gasps> wow, this is really good. I figured this would be the best way to thank you all. You came all this way just for us. So I'm glad you like it. Somehow hearing that makes it taste even better. Um, excuse me. Oh, yeah? I'm really sorry to bother you during our break, but... I've got some questions about modifying our weapons, if you have a moment. <laughs> sure, happy to help. Ask me anything you want. Wait, so the skirmish of Cloden, that was you? You be General Jaeger? Yep, that was Squad 7. We even hear the stories on the front lines. Kalia would have never lasted this long without the militia. Honestly, it's thanks to you that we can move so far into Imperial territory. I was hoping we'd run into each other someday so I could give you the thanks you deserve. Well, I could say the same thing. Everyone knows about the Galleons in Squad E, and hearing about all their victories behind enemy lines. You have no idea how much courage that gives us in the militia. Ah, oh, look at you two. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Still, we're not all sunshine and roses. I said, pass the goddamn sugar. Listen, Dark Hair, you're lucky to get tea at all. Sugar is a luxury, and we don't have enough for your kind. My kind? What the hell? We're supposed to be the guests of honor here! I'm sorry. We've been struggling with her prejudice as well. It doesn't help that they both have the personality of a silver-backed weasel. Uh, do they? Uh, don't mind him, Lieutenant. The boss has a thing for plants, animals, bugs, you name it. 
Oh, it's part of the Mustelidae family. Small, carnivorous mammals. Fearless, too. Even against lions. The... Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Old habits. Oh, no, I, I think I get it. Maybe we're more similar than I thought. Though, I'm more interested in the skies. Oh, great. Get used to one, weirdo, and here comes another. Huh? What's all that noise? Welkin, there! <laughs> the enemy! <laughs> All right, let's go! Prepare to engage! <laughs> Squad E, move out! Squad 7, move out! I'll explain our mission. We need to rout the Imperial forces as quickly as possible. Squad 7, move out! Squad E will hold off the enemy's main force while we take out any soldiers that made it into the city. Squad E's badly outnumbered. We need to finish our fight quickly so we can go help them out. Roger that. Let's show them what we're made of. Those damn imp bastards think they can waltz right in! Let's kick them out of Galia! Please, Squad E. Just hold out until we get there. Ready to go. Hostiles confirmed. Be careful! Amazing! <laughs> It's like a treasure trove of samples. Enemy sight. Need fish! Being popular. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Go down! You mess with the wrong girl. I see. They're good. Incoming! Damn, this is a drag. Target sighted. Target sighted.
doing good. It's tough being popular. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. You mess with the wrong girl. Stay cool. Point that thing. go. being popular. Stay cool. Hostile. 
Hostiles confirmed. Be careful.
I've been waiting here. I can get used to this. There we go. That'll show them. Now I just gotta get to Squad E. Hope they're holding out okay. Ready to go. I need ammo! Now! Now! Any more are coming. We need to go help Squad E. That took a lot longer than I expected. I hope Lieutenant Wallace is okay. <sighs> they just keep coming. There's way too many of them. At this rate, they're bound to break through eventually. Just a little longer. Everyone, we need to hold out. Squad 7's coming to back us up. We'll be here any moment now. Damn it. I don't need those newbies to back me up. I'm a ranger. You hear me, imps? Can keep going. Sorry for the holdup. What the? You're kidding. You held off this many enemies with just you guys? I told you, lady. I'm a ranger. Well, not bad for a dark hair, I guess. Now you can kick back and leave the rest to us. Ha! <laughs> Please. Like I'd let you hog all the glory, Ginger. The cavalry's finally here! Reinforcements! Thanks for showing up! Don't worry about it. Without you guys, we'd never have cornered the ones in the city. Now I figure it's time we return the favor. Let's wake these imps up! See this coming? No! I'm on it. Go down! You mess with the wrong 
girl. Nice shot. It's tough being popular. Look me in the eye. Leave it to me. Minimal damage. Being popular. Target sighted. Did you really not see this coming? They might be soldiers after all. I'm on it.
sorry for the wait. Alicia, you're here! Of course. I'd never leave a friend behind. Come on, let's do this. Sorry for the wait. Squad 7 is ready to support. Welcome. Am I glad to see you? Now everyone's here, we're unstoppable. This is a fight to protect Galia. Everyone, cooperate with Squad 7 and take out the enemy! Let's end this! Here comes the pain! Looks like the enemy reinforcements are giving up. They're all retreating! Everyone's okay, right? Ugh. Thank goodness. I gotta hand it to you. I'm not used to seeing one squad hold off a force like that. Yeah? Well, you guys don't fight like newbies. I'll be honest, I didn't expect you to keep up with us. That was amazing. We were all so coordinated. Like our squads have been fighting together for years. Tactics based off of every soldier's experience. That battle taught me more than any military training did. I think we learned a lot from you guys, too. I'm really glad we came here. And thank you, Squad 7. Okay, everyone, that's enough chit-chat. We better get back to base. Welcome, soldiers of Squad 7. There was some performance out there. Never have held off that main force if it wasn't for you protecting the city. Well, we learned a lot ourselves. We finally got to see you rangers in action. It's a shame our training was interrupted, but I think that battle taught us a lot more than exercises did. I'd say we're the ones who learned something. I saw that city after the battle. Honestly, it kind of shocked me. Barely any collateral damage. The roads, the buildings... You never know the war passed through. Oh. We're fighting to protect Galia, not destroy it. If we have to hurt our people, or harm our homeland for a victory, it wouldn't be a victory at all. I... 
I realize it must sound a little naive to you. After all, a war zone isn't really a place for sympathy. No, I understand. Even if we beat the enemy, it's all pointless if we don't have a home to come back to. So Squad 7 can protect Galia, and Squad E will face the Empire head on. Kind of like that last battle. But I figure it's the same for all of us. We just want this war over and our folks safe, right? Then you can just sit back and relax. I'm invincible, okay? The Empire doesn't stand a chance. Huh, <laughs> must be nice being a fearless idiot. You can be as confident as you want. Just make sure you don't get yourself killed out there, okay? And you really gotta watch what you say, lady, or you might catch some friendly fire. Gotta watch out for guys like you chasing the, uh, what was it? The junk in my trunk? What? No, hey, I wasn't... Lady, I wouldn't hit on you if you paid me. Oh, where'd that come from? I figured you were beyond being self-conscious about your dirty mind. You're a lot more feisty than I expected, too. Guess that explains why this guy is such a pushover. Hey, I am not! <laughs> Well, they're still arguing, but at least it sounds a little more friendly. Claude, His Excellency wants to speak with you. Ambassador Townsend? Okay, I'll be right there. Ah, Lieutenant Wallace. Fine work out there. Your swift response does you credit. Your Excellency, I'm just glad I could help. Well, if you wouldn't mind, there's something I'd like to discuss with you in private. Is that all right? Concerning? Let me be candid. There is a certain personal endeavor I would appreciate Squad E's assistance with. Rather than return to the front lines, I would have you head to Rangri's for the sake of a special mission. Rangri's? The mission itself is nothing terribly difficult, but you should know that failure is not an option. <sighs> Rest assured, once we resolve this delicate matter, I will personally ensure you have a bright future in the... I'm sorry, sir, but we have allies waiting for our return to the front lines. If we stay any longer, I'm afraid it may have serious consequences for the operation, and for our allies. I can't endanger them on a promise of future glory, sir. We need tangible victories, ones we can fight for. We need to catch our train, sir. I'll pretend this conversation never happened. I see. That's a shame, Lieutenant Wallace. A terrible shame indeed. Ambassador Townsend, it's been a pleasure. Okay, looks like everyone's ready. We better get moving. Wait, I've got some souvenirs for Squad E. It, is that more of your homemade bread? I thought I'd never have any again. I just baked it, so it should stay soft for a while. Maybe you could have it for lunch on the train. The most important part of baking is passion for your work. Alicia, you're going to be an amazing baker. When you open your bakery, you have to put ads in the papers, okay? I promise I'll find you, somehow. Wow, um, okay, it's a promise. Um, Riley, thank you so much for teaching me about your technology. I thought maybe you could find some way to use this, so... Schematics? Is this for a smoke bomb? This is amazing, Isara! Did you come up with this yourself? It's still just a prototype. I can't get enough range on the smoke to make it useful in combat. But it's so close! All you need to do is fine-tune it a little. See, if you modify the exhaust valve's shape... The exhaust valve? Oh, of course! I never would have thought of that! See? Perfect! I'm sure we can make this smoke bomb work. Um... Isara? Yes? I, uh, I was just thinking, once the war's over, maybe we could meet up and, um, 
talk tank designs. Of course. Careful out there, Mr. Invincible. Get rid of you, perv. I don't want to see you sniffing around my doorstep again. Do you hear me? <laughs> you can't keep me out. Golly is my home, and I'll be back before you know it. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes. It's time to go. It makes me wish we'd met under different circumstances. But I think we would have been good friends. What's that supposed to mean? We are friends, aren't we? <laughs> I know I'm not gonna forget our time together. Or Alicia's bread, for that matter. I won't either. <laughs> It'd be hard to forget you going back for a fifth helping. <laughs> oh, really? Welcome, and everyone in Squad 7, thank you for sharing your courage with us. We'll protect Galia, we promise. So, Claude, go end this war. I will, I promise. Once this is all over, I'll meet you back in Galia. Yeah, it's a promise. Well, Squad E, it's time to head to the front lines. <sighs> I was just getting to know them. And now we have to head back? I know, but we've got a job to do. Still, it'll be fine. We'll see each other again. You seem like good people, right, Claude? Whoa, Raz is praising another squad? Did you hit your head out there or something? Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Man, I get no respect. For now, I think Ali is safe with them. But we gotta get back here after all this. All of us. Yeah, we're all coming back. And soon enough, we'll be breaking bread again. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Wilkin Gunther. I've been assigned as a tank driver. Hopefully I don't disappoint you. Alicia Melchiot, proud member of Squad E. I'll do my best out there. Call me Rosie. And you're picking me, huh? Good call, Hotshot. Name's Largo. I'm a Lancer. Just point me at a tank, and I'll get it out of your way. Ha 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 